I am very tired of people telling me what is possible and what is not possible. When they are telling me that, I wonder if they are really placing in biblical facts in what they are saying to me. Are they telling me something is impossible if they choose to not bring up biblical scriptures? You know what? I believe sometimes you may have to keep some things to yourself. I believe some people may, may mean you well. They may be looking out for your safety. But at the same time, I believe demons, in a sense, may be influencing some things they are telling you. The Bible speaks about faith. The Bible speaks about righteousness. If there is something that you want, and if you are doing right by God, why not ask for it? I am really tired of people telling me what is possible and what is not possible. So let's go to John chapter 15, verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. What is this saying? In essence, if you are following God's rules, not to say that you are going to be 100% perfect, not to say that you will never mess up. At the same time, we should strive for perfection. You can ask God for what you want. And what this is saying, it shall be done unto you, so you will receive it. I am not saying you should be greedy. I am not saying to ask God for hateful things. You can ask God for what you want. Like, as I was saying earlier, I am tired of people telling me what is possible and what is not possible. Let's go to Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, please listen, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be in, impossible unto you. In essence, what this is saying, what I believe this is saying, you can have little faith, but can do great things. Or should I say, you can have little faith, and get big things done. Are you listening to me? Like, how large is a grain of mustard seed? Honestly, very small. So even if your faith in what you want is very small, you can get it. Why are you allowing people to tell you what is possible and what is not possible? According to this here, the sky is the limit. Anything is possible. I am not saying to be gritty. I am not saying to pray for 
sinful things. In essence, if you want it, you can get it. Let's go to James chapter 1, verses 5 through 9. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. In verse 5, it is speaking about wisdom, but I believe this can apply to when we ask God for other things as well. Verse 6, But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Basically, do not doubt. Verse 7, For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. So this is telling you to not doubt. Because if you doubt, from what this is saying, huh, you should not expect it. Don't expect God to give it to you. I believe this verse coincides with Matthew chapter 17 and 20. Your faith for what you are believing in doesn't have to be very, very large. I guess, depending on the case. But with little faith, you can do so much. Actually, I may have to take that back. It says, nothing shall be impossible unto you. So I assume this is saying, even if you have little faith, keep on believing and nothing will be impossible for you amazing why are we allowing people to tell us what is possible and what is not possible are they trying to strip away our faith let me say this, there is something I am believing for. There is something I am praying so much about. Even if my faith for it is so little, I believe that little faith can get things accomplished. My faith may not be as great as Moses, may not be as great as Abraham, maybe not as great as Jacob's. But all I have to do is keep on believing and don't doubt, and I believe I will have what I pray for. So you may have to stay away from some people, as it seems, discouraging you, telling you what is possible and what is not possible. Just because your faith is very small or whatever, don't try to strip away my faith. Are you listening to what I am saying? Don't let your enemy or, I guess, friend discourage you from believing in what you really, really want. Are you listening to me? Some things a person may say may make sense, but if it goes against what the Word of God says, why listen to it? What you are praying for, what you are believing for, 
may be impossible for them, may be impossible for this and that person, but it doesn't mean it have to be impossible for you. Because what does Matthew 17 and 20 say? Basically, in my own words, it doesn't take much to do so much. If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. So in essence, my belief in what I am praying for can be this small. And it will happen. Are you listening to me? I am not sure if you are. So, in, in, a, in a sense, I can make the impossible possible. You may think I am insane. You may think I have lost my mind. Hey, you can think whatever you want. There are things I want in this world. Things that I want fixed. My faith only has to be a grain of mustard seed. Should I have more? Yes, but it doesn't take much to do so much. Are you listening to what I am saying? Stop allowing people to tell you what is possible and what is not possible. If you are living for Jesus Christ, trying so hard to obey him, if you are telling God what you want and you have been praying for it and believing that you have it, even though you don't have it, that is faith, believing that you have it, even though you don't have it, why wouldn't you receive it? Are you listening to what I am saying? Why wouldn't you receive it? Stop letting your friend, your cousin, brother, your sister, your family member, your co-worker tell you what is possible and what is not possible. Maybe what you are believing for is impossible for them, but don't let them make it impossible for you. If they want to restrict themselves, fine, but don't let them restrict you. May God bless us.